Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can remove the background from images. Now there's loads of different tools you can use online to do that and if you've got software that you've bought yourself that most likely, most likely has it as well. But there is a free option that works really, really well and I would recommend using this. It's all in the cloud so it's perfect for the Chromebook or any computer where you're working in the cloud rather than using a program that's installed locally on your computer. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to your browser and then from there, just go to Google first here and then just type in Adobe Express and then you'll get Adobe Express there. When you first go on to here, it does ask you to sign in, get Adobe Express for free. That's fine, just click on that, it will ask you to use an account to set it up. I've already done that, so it's not done that. It's just you've linked to my Google account. It's just a simple case of clicking it, putting in your name, date of birth, and that's it. And then you've got this here. There's loads of things you can do with Adobe Express, and I will do other videos on different things you can use in Adobe Express. But on this video, it's just to show you how you can change the transparent background. Now, I've deliberately chosen two images which are pretty difficult to remove the background to show you how good it is. So for this one, for example, here, it's amazing that the AI knows what to remove, but it's all blended here as well. So we want it to remove this background. So it just keeps this here and it keeps the wasp there as well. And the other image I've chosen is this one. And again, the reason I've chosen this one is that there's quite a bit in the background going on. You, you can see that the picture is already a bit blurry there. So that's how it will look anyway. So that's, this is nothing to do with the transparent tool that we're going to use. That's how the image was that I saved from Pixabay. So it's already a bit blurry, but it's this background again that we want to get rid of. And like I said, you could be using this for many things. Like for me, for example, I might want to have something for my YouTube thumbnails and I want to have a transparent background. I can use it for that. I can use it for my blog. There's loads of different reasons why you, why you might want a transparent background. And if you search for images on Google to get transparent images, some of them work and then other ones are not actually transparent backgrounds. They come, they're downloaded and it's still got that transparent gray and then light gray blocks in the background, which is no good at all. So let's have a look how it works. It's really good how it works. So we go back to Adobe Express. And like I said, I think this is one of the best ones I've used. Microsoft Designer. Microsoft Designer is good but the transparent background is not as good as Adobe Express. There are free ones you can use online, but they tend to only let you then download images at a certain size. Adobe Express doesn't have that limitation. So if you go on here, you can easily get to it to suggested quick actions, remove background here. Or if it wasn't there, you would also just be able to type it here. And as you can see, it comes up straight away remove background. So click on that and it's just a simple case of tap to upload an image. So that's if you search for it or you can click on there as well and tap to upload an image. So you just simply click and then we'll do the one with the wasp first. And as you can see, that's done that pretty quickly and it's done it pretty amazingly. I'll show you the picture in a larger size um, one that I've, we've done the other one and you can also open that in the editor as well if you want to do further things with it but you just simply click download and that will download and then let's do it again with the other image and we'll click on this one and again it's done it pretty quick on this one maybe not amazing but when you think it is I personally think it's really good um, when you consider it's free to use and it had a look quite a bit going on in the background and the picture you know there's a lot going on in the forefront that we wanted to keep and it knew what we wanted to keep you didn't have to do anything yourself so download that as well and then I'll show you them downloaded and it is this one and there you can see that's the transparent background. So you can now then put this in an image, which I'll show you very quickly without it, the reason why you might want it in a transparent background. But as you can see, this isn't perfect because it's done it there 
and there as well so it does depend on the image but like i says this was a difficult image for it to do anyway now the reason why it's possibly done that if we go back to the original one yeah it's because of the color there and there is similar to this so it's removed it so it's not perfect but you could have put that in the editor and changed it a bit uh, but if we look at the other one which is this one I think that's pretty good and I'll show you now why you might want to do a transparent background so for example I'll just use slides so let's go on to Google Drive let's do new slide blank presentation and let's just remove that and remove that now if I wanted to say um, background I wanted to do an image and I wanted to use a background. I'll make it gradient like that and use that background. And then I wanted to put that image in there. Now, if I insert the image that has not had the background removed, you'll see that this here is taking over the blue and I don't want that to happen so that's why you'd use a transparent image so if we insert the one where we've removed the background might not be perfect because like I said the images we used were quite difficult for it to do it anyway but with most images I've tend to find where I've wanted it to remove a background the images there's not much for it to do anyway so it does it does it really well but if we do the one without the background and to be fair that looks perfect and there you see, that's why you'd like to do it. And then once you've got it there, you could use that for whatever reason you want to. And then you can download it as an image. Obviously, you don't have to do it in slides. You could do this in Adobe. There's loads of different things. I just wanted to show you quickly how, why the reason why you'd want to use a transparent image. But I think it's really good that that's all available for free. And like it says on the Adobe um website that it's free forever so it's not something that they're going to take away so it's really good and i think it's much better than a lot of them that are out there so adobe express and there it is okay so i hope you liked this video if you did please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching